Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Roblox Loaf. Today we're going to look at one of my favorite YouTubers, Kindly Kind. There are a few reasons that I think Kindly Kind is an underrated YouTuber right now, but there are also the reasons I think he's going to completely dominate Roblox in 2021. Let me know what you think in comments down below. With that said, let's get started. Number 5 is going to be wholesome. There's no getting around it, Roblox is built and designed with a younger audience in mind. There's absolutely no swearing, profanity, or threats allowed to be made in the chat boxes, in the game dialogue, or anywhere else within the game. People will try, but they're typically pretty promptly removed. This means that even the YouTubers who are playing Roblox games have a standard to uphold when it comes to their target audience. For Kine, he keeps his videos pretty clean in content. There is no profanity or swearing, and he's one of the few YouTubers that keep the values of Roblox in mind when he's creating content. Number 4. Growth not only is the Roblox community growing, but so is the YouTube world. With a global shutdown, YouTube was one of the main things that kept people feeling connected to the community. They use and express themselves in a healthy style. For Kine, his channel gained a lot of subscribers, viewers, and general attention during this time. He has a great place to go and watch content that was enjoyable, not political, mean, or hurtful to others. So his channel has grown a lot over the past year, and I think with many people finding him, he will only continue to grow. Number 3. Games All of the personal things assigned, Kain actually goes on and plays the games. He takes requests from his viewers and he listens to his fans and what they want to see. He plays games that he normally wouldn't play just to try them out and show people he listens to what they want and what they want to see. He has a large variety of games on his channel, so you can really experience a lot of different options rather than only seeing roleplay or only seeing parkour. It's a melting pot of fun. Number 2. Personality He's a ton of fun to listen to, crack jokes, and play. You can tell he's being himself the whole time and even includes his family on the fun. He is a genuine YouTuber. There are plenty of YouTubers that put on a show or play a character as they are on their own channel, but Kain is just himself. This is refreshing and I think that a lot of people will gravitate towards that this year. A genuine person being themselves. And finally, at number 1, he is good at the games. Learning more about Kain, he has been a gamer nearly his entire life, loving video games since he was a child. So when he plays on Roblox, he's actually good at the game. It's fun to watch people play badly sometimes, but at the end of the day, it's enjoyable and safe for all ages that he's good at games, has a variety of content, and, again, good at what he does. I don't see any reason why he wouldn't dominate in Roblox. There are a lot of skills that can be learned from having a versatile game history, and Kindly Kind has it. So, look out Roblox, Kind just signed in. Thank you so much for watching. If you like Kindly Kind and think he's going to dominate this year, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe so you never miss new content from Roblox Loaf. Catch you next time!